Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty, Shorty here with Would You Sell Your Soul Chapter 9 Tale of Two Sisters. Witnessing extreme bullying of a girl by her sister and family has you questioning who exactly you are supposed to form a contract with. So I could tell this is already going to be a hard chapter to sit through. Um, I will say I did... Oh, we're getting a Love's 365 ad. Turn this down a bit. So I did uh, redo the the end choice. I picked I picked the other. I went through the whole chapter, picked all the different choices. the The first two choices didn't really matter. Like if you don't let Mephisto show you the whole thing, he just tells you about the infertility. So I did actually get a different ending. Um, if you choose, you know, she might not realize what she's lost. She simply doesn't remember, and so uh, Rico ends up being Momo's new mom. They're planning to have another kid. Rico no longer struggles with infertility. So I guess that's the happier outcome. Momo doesn't die. So, you know. I hope this has a happy ending for this poor bully girl. I hate bullies. And apparently her whole family's in on it. Now we're at the hospital again. General Hospital. An old woman is sleeping soundly on a hospital bed in the quiet room. Two people have come to visit. It's a mom! I don't understand. I haven't been able to get in touch with her since yesterday. And Dad, I'm sure she'll get in touch with you after she calms down. But this is a critical time and we need her to help us. Grandma, is that you? Hey, we're in a hospital. You should at least turn off your cell phone. Oh well, this is a private room, so there's no problem with a phone call. Don't, like, cell phones mess with, like, the hospital machines or something. Ahem. Beep. Erica, our sister. Strawberry Erica. Mom, I don't think it is possible for Taka Takashi to come. Oh? I don't know what to tell you. By the way, did you get in touch with your sister? She hasn't read any of my messages yet. I don't know what is going on, but I'm worried. Even Takashi is worried. I think that's our fiancé. There is nothing we can do about it right now, so don't stress about it. Beep. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Oh, mother-in-law, you're awake. I've been listening to your idiotic conversations. This is Grandma. I like her already. Mother, aren't you a bit harsh? That's what I should be saying if all you can do is talk behind people's backs when they leave. Then leave. Gasp. Mother has been in the hospital for too long. I can understand why she is upset. We may as well go home. If you'll excuse us. You just got here! Those girls haven't changed at all. They always have and always will be. Shorty, where are you? Please call me. What girls? What are we? This sad again. I should have skipped it the first time if they were just going to show it again. This is a Voltage Ink app. I don't do Voltage Ink apps. Uh, the, like, they mostly do Otome games, and you have to pay for each path, and it's expensive, and the paths don't really differ at all, and there's a lot of really questionable stuff going on. And then there's, a, like, second season, third season, there's side stories. You're gonna be broke. And it's just, I, I don't like the quality of them. I like, they look nice, technically, but, yeah. Anyway, moving on. I'm gonna have to grind for gems after this. I don't think this job is getting any better. How long have we been here? That woman who went back to when she was young and started over? I don't think that was the best ending, and I think that all the chapters are pretty self-included. It's probably best to stop thinking about it. But it makes me realize that the value of the soul in the devil's eyes is very ambiguous. Then there was Yasushi Sukahara, who wanted off. 100 million yen in exchange for the shortfall, he was given pain that would last until the time of his life. You mean death? Next was Wataru Sasaki, who paid the price with his inability to have children in the future because he wanted to eliminate his girlfriend and the unborn child. Granted, it is my fault how Sasaki's future turned out, but at the time I couldn't forgive him for what he was going to do to his own child. Does your choices matter? Mari Yamaguchi. In exchange for her husband's love, she sacrificed her beloved daughter who she saw as her treasure. So 
So they pretty much just keep it vague because even in the, the other ending, she doesn't get her daughter, so... All this pain and anguish that is being inflicted becomes the devil's food. I... I need to be more careful. And if only the demon had come for me, then... I'll just say I need to be more careful. I don't even know what the second one really means. I have to be more careful. You never know when or where you'll be caught unprepared. Sometimes when I'm around Mephisto, I almost forget. He's a demon. He's the devil. He's a creature of different ethics than I am. Biz, biz. Your phone is ringing. Oh, for God's sake, do you mind not popping in out of nowhere? How long have you been there? I am the future, the past, the present. I am everywhere and nowhere. You like talking in riddles, don't you? I get it. You don't make any sense like ever. I'll just say I get it. Yeah, I get it. I do not think that you do, Shorty. Ugh, this guy. Alright. Is it something that I absolutely have to understand? Should you not be more inquisitive and learn more? Learn more about you? Exactly, so that you understand. No thanks, I'll pass. I highly doubt that learning more about you would do me any good. I think being infor knowing information is useful. My my, it seems you've become quite brazen. This guy's gonna screw us over in the end if we're not careful. Kind of have to in this line of work and having you as a boss. It's annoying that you always show up out of nowhere. Why do you concern yourself with such trivial things that should be of no matter to you? I thought you just said I should learn more. You've been dealing with humans for years, haven't you? You're therefore aware that popping up like a whack-a-mole will startle a human. When you see a butterfly and approach it, do you care that you startle it? Who approaches butterflies? You just watch them. All right, point taken. We are all just little insignificant creatures to you. I better check my phone. If we're that insignificant, why is he bothering with us at all? Thankfully, my phone is still connected to the human world. This is one of the only ways I can get messages from people I care about, although I can't reply. Shorty, how have you been? I'm very worried about you. Please, if you see this message, just say something and I'll get back to you. I love you, Shorty. Our grandma's awesome. Grandma, I wish I could reply. I see the messages, but I can't do anything. It's from your grandmother. Yes, my grandma's worried about me, so she sent me a message. But for the life of me, I can't remember which hospital she's in. She's in General Hospital. You already know that it is related to your memory loss. I forgot all about the memory loss, ironically enough. Yes, I know. But I really want to see her. If you know something, please tell me. I do know where your grandmother is. Then... But I will not tell you. What a punk. What? Why? Because of your contract. It is not yet time. Mm. More importantly, I have found the subjects for our next contract. No figure. Let us depart. I wonder what awaits me next. An ad, probably. Yep. Same ad! Like, at least they could mix it up. I never did get that really cool Genshin Impact ad again. Even though I watched a bunch of ads. Couldn't find it online, either. A little disappointed. <sighs> is he gonna let us skip it earlier, or is he gonna move to another ad? Maybe neither. I just want to stop the bullying and protect this girl. Sub. Poor girl. Hey, who said you could sit down? These freaking punks. Get up. Grab. Ugh, I'll get up. Please stop pulling my hair. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? A punk. Punch. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She is so annoying. We're gonna have to kill the entire school at this rate. What am I supposed to do when you hit me if I say anything? Hey, what's with that look? You wanna say something to me, huh? No, nothing. There's nothing. And you can't even fight back, because if you fight back, they'll just come back with a vengeance with all their friends. You're so pitiful and filthy. Really, because you keep beating me up. I'm sorry. What? What did you say? I told you not to talk to me like that, you ugly B-I-T-C-H. I say that word. The girl, who had been grabbed by her hair, got slapped on the cheek and knocked to the ground. This is flashing back to my childhood. Mostly in elementary school. Kids are messed up. That hurts. Kick. Another girl stomped on her back with the sole of her shoe. Ugh. Boy, girl, have you seen Higurashi? I'm just saying. I better just be quiet or else they'll treat me even worse. Tried that too. That the principal told me to. It never worked. Punch, 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 punch. Ugh. I have to endure this just a little longer. They finally stopped. 
I'm bored. Let's go. Yeah. Sensing that her tormentors were finished, the cowering girl finally looked up. Hmm. Who is this punk? Probably her sister. <sighs> hmm. Let's go. Afraid to raise her eyes, the girl waited with bated breath for the footsteps of the last tormentor to disappear. <sighs> why? Why? Hugging her shoe print covered body, the girl began to cry. Go insane with a bat and kill them all. Mephisto. Her name is Nina Sakagami, and the one who was assaulting her was her sister, Aya Sakagami. Fascinating, is it not? No. Fascinating? Whatever could you find fascinating about this? She was being bullied. I love that our character is as mad as I am. She did not try to hide her brutality and made it obvious for all to see. And the people who do nothing are, are honestly just as bad. It's nothing to admire or be proud of. Shorty, if the rules are clear, then this is a simple matter for you to handle on your own. Give me a bat. What? Did you think I would not notice? You have been upset ever since the last contract. Well, originally a little girl was murdered, so... Mm. You want me to make a contract with the girl who was being bullied? This means that she would have a horrible ending, and she's already been through so much. I'll make a contract with the bullies and then have them hit by trucks. You have sympathy for the girl. That's why I don't want to make a contract with her. Apparently you don't. If you were the one who was bullying her, would you not be disturbed if she was offered a deal? What's that got to do with anything? Well, yeah. Remember, Shorty, to the devil it does not matter who you are. The only difference is the value of the soul. Good or bad, full or genius, only the value of the soul can tip the scales. I see. I don't really see. I shall let you think this over a little more. Oh. Mm. But Mephisto was right. It would be easier for me to collect the soul if I followed my own moral code. With Sasaki Wataru, I happily dragged his soul out for the trade. I couldn't forgive that lousy man for getting someone pregnant and then trying to abandon them. Abandon them? He was trying to kill them. Throb. Ugh. I want my baby back. I felt a dull ache in my stomach. Mm. Huh. I'm afraid of myself. I might let my anger get the better of me again and judge someone just like that time. However, as long as I still have a sense of fear, I am alright. It means I haven't lost my humanity. I'm pretty sure I haven't. I suspect with this chapter will continue, we won't get like, oh, new ad, Fate of the Empress. But it's probably going to skip it. I want to have my own oh, kid too. thank goodness. But... Oh. Let me see the ad. It's so easy to raise a kid in this game. You can sculpt the places you like. You don't need to worry about her growth. Well, the ad is being blocked by the advertisement for the game. Try the game and find out your own way to raise a kid. Fate of the Empress. What a shame. Fate of the Empress ads are more entertaining than the Love 365 ads. We're probably not going to get a conclusion for this this time. The sun had finally set. Nina cleaned some of the stains on her uniform to avoid being stared at as she headed home. I would not bother. I would just walk home, clearly having been abused, and let people ask questions. Ugh. I have to go home. But her steps were heavier than when she left the park. I'm home. I mean, given the kind of person our sister is, I'm not sure I would announce it. Nobody is here. Oh, she's so happy. The living room was dark. The family probably went out to eat without her. I mean, we knew they would be bad people, but still. Huh? A single thousand yen bill had been tossed on the table. Mm -mm. There was nothing on the table and only an empty pot set on the stove. Is this dinner money? I'm surprised they gave her money. Hit the money. There was no note that accompanied the money. She's going to be accused of stealing that money. <sighs> sob, sob. Rattle. <gasps> so try to get in! <gasps> Nina, are you back? Why are your shoes so muddy? These freaking parents. Oh no, I forgot to clean the dirt off before I, became, I came home. The living room was separated from the hallway by a glass door. That's weird. In order for Nina to return to her room, she had to go out into the hallway where her parents were. Creek. Eh? Why are your clothes so dirty? Because your other child is a psychopath. His parents eyed her uniform. Uh, well... Hey, my a thousand yen that I left on the table is missing. I called it. She's horrible. What's wrong with her? What? I, I'm sure there is no thief in this house. Surely you just misplaced it. Hey, Nina. Yes? 
Her legs started shaking, the thousand yen bill clutched tightly in her hand. What's in your hand? It's not what you think. Everyone was gone and I thought this was dinner money, so I... I... How dare you steal my money? No, that's not here. I'll give it back. Gross, get away from me. I don't want to touch anything that's been in your dirty hands. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was my mistake. I'll get you a new bill. I can't believe that you would steal your sister's money. What's with these people? You make excuses for everything. Hit. Now the parents are hitting her? Ugh. Thump. Not being able to withstand the force of a grown man, Nina falls to the living room floor. Honey, what are you doing? You're going to get my floor dirty. Wow. These people suck. Ugh. My sister is so annoying, dirty, and disgusting. I wish she would just die. Sob. Sob, sob. Oh god, she's starting to cry again. How annoying. We just had a great time eating. Now this is ruining my mood. I'm, I'm sorry. This isn't even an exaggeration. There are really people like this in the world. Quit laying around on the floor. Get your ass up and clean it up before you get back to your room. I'd run away. Being homeless would be easier than this nonsense. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Frantically wiping the floor with her uniform sleeve, she stood up to run to her room. Without shedding a tear, she quickly escaped to her room. This makes me so mad. And I hate that I'm going to have to wait 24 hours because I'm so low on gems. I you have to spend 8 gems to unlock a new chapter. Ugh, stuff like that is so hard for me to read because, again, it's not as exaggerated as some people watching this might think. There are really just people that just get so much pleasure from hurting people. And they think they're good people. Like, I bet if you ask that sister, she thinks she's a super wonderful person. The parents think they're good people. Like, that girl could die and they wouldn't care in the slightest. It's a dark world we live in. I just hope they all meet terrible ends. And that this girl ends up happy. Because she deserves it and they don't. This is honestly too much. Yeah, you tell him, Shorty. Bullying is already unacceptable, but this is happening in the family. Ugh. I need to get her to sign a contract. Get the bully to sign the contract and kill her. Have you decided what you were going to do? Have you had a look at the family yet? You always show up out of nowhere, saying things that I don't like. I am a demon, you know. If you want to show me, show me why she won't stand up for herself or I've seen enough of that family. Oh, well, here we go. Spending my gems. Show me why she won't stand up for herself. Because she can't, probably. I want to know why she still cares about her parents and her sister to being mistreated like this. Who says she even cares about them at all? Then let me show you. Nina's family would not be like this if her younger sister had never been born. Well, we know what we need to do. We need to goosebumps this. What? Just erase the sister from existence. I'm home. Look at our nice house. Look, I'm home, Nina. I mean, I don't think there's any excuse for the parents acting this way, too. Like, no matter how, what the sister has done. What's going on? Huh? Your uniform, it's all dirty. Oh, this. You aren't being bullied at school, are you? Huh? No. If that is what's going on, then I can go to your school tomorrow. Be honest with me, Nina. No, I'm not. I bought some food with my friends on the way home. I think I got dirty when I sat on a bench. You had a snack? If you do that before dinner, I'll make you skip a meal. You know that, right? I'm sorry. I think skipping dinner is a bit much. Are you really sorry, Nina? I am, I am. I love my mom's cooking. Please don't tell me to skip dinner. I was just joking. <laughs> Here, I'll make you a plate, so hurry up and put your stuff down. Okay. See, because even if the sister were erased, like if... I, I still wouldn't want the parents to be happy. Why are things so different? If her sister had not been born, then that girl would have been the one to receive all of her parents' love. This seems like an excuse. Her parents' affection for her was redirected once her sister was born. Are you saying that the reason she can't give up her, on her family is because of these memories? How old is his sister? It doesn't even make sense. Well, I do wonder. Perhaps it could have been better if she was hated from the start. Love is not something that one abandons so easily. I could abandon her pretty easily. Mm. In this scene, anyway. Yeah, I can understand that. Emotions can be a hassle. This is... Then it is time to spin the Wheel of Fate. No, it's time to spin the ad wheel and get some gems. Continue to Chapter 10. Oh, that was such a rough chapter, but ad block in the thing. But, oh my gosh, I, I want to make those bullies suffer so bad, and I want the parents to suffer too. I feel like we're probably going to gear towards, you know, getting rid of the sister. Like, I think our protagonist will either wish her sister had never been born, or she'll do like a really self-hating wish, like say she wish she'd never been born, which would suck, but... 
Anyway, what'd you think of this episode? What do you hope happens to the bullies? Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!